Hey guys, after a long wait, it's finally here. Our Starlink satellite internet system. And it is amazing. Check it out. It is crazy fast, ultra reliable. We've had it for a few days now and it's been great. So today we're going to get into the unboxing, the setup, the testing, the performance review. We're gonna do some speed tests on this thing that will blow your mind. Uh, we'll also review the power consumption and the cost of the unit, so stay tuned. One of the biggest problems we face as full-time RVers traveling around the country is the lack of good cell phone and internet service. And we believe Starlink is going to be the solution to that problem. And if it is, that's a real game changer. We're currently down here on the Gulf Coast of Texas and in less than a month, we're going to be leaving for a trip out to the Western United States for eight months where we'll be posting updates on the performance of Starlink as we move from location to location. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button below as well as the notification bell. That way you'll be updated each time we post an update. If you already follow our channel, you know that we love to RV boondock. And typically anywhere where you go out to boondock, there's going to be little to no cell service. So we really wasted a lot of time and effort this past year finding locations that have decent cell service. And now that we have Starlink, we really should be able to go anywhere that we can take our RV and still have an internet connection. So now let's take a look at what's in the box. First off, you have the base, and then you have the satellite dish itself, which is a rectangular dish. This is the new version, version two. The first version was a round version dish, and this one is supposed to be more power efficient, which we'll get into in just a little bit. There's a 75 foot power cord, as well as a six foot power cord in here that connects the router to the electric outlet, a regular 110 outlet, and you have the router itself that plugs in and connects to the dish. This thing was so easy to set up. You essentially set up the base, insert the dish into the base, it snaps right in, and then you run the cord from the base down to the router and plug it right into the router. And then all you have to do after that is plug the router in with the power cord. Everything is done through the app, so it's really easy to set up. Inside the app for the initial setup, you just connect to the Starlink Wi-Fi network create your username and password for your individual network, and then you start adding devices. Starlink would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. All right, here we go. Let's do some speed tests. I mean, this is really stupid fast. Wait till you see it. Here we go. Look at that, it immediately pegs out. No matter what you do, you can use the Starlink app to do the speed test, or you can use the Ookla speed test app as well, which I use a lot, and it is just ridiculous. All right, so let's take a look at power consumption. I'm going to plug this in directly into my inverter, and we'll be able to use my battery monitor to check out the wattage used and amperage used. So here we go. Okay, so if you are interested in purchasing a Starlink unit, you do have to get in line. There is a waiting list that you have to get on. So you have to go to the Starlink website and you'll just go to Starlink, sign up. You do have to put down $99 for a deposit. And then after that, they will notify you of when you come up in the queue. Whenever they do notify you, you will then be charged $499 for the equipment, plus $50 for shipping and applicable tax rate for your area. There is a service fee every month of $99. 
All right, so this is a big investment up front. However, you know, we're willing to take that risk in order to get out there and see if this is going to take care of the issues that we've had on the road with the internet. And like I said, we're gonna post those updates. Per Starlink, there is no guarantee of service other than at the address that you register. However, you can go into the app and change right in the app, change your location. You can use the map to pinpoint the exact location wherever you are and change it. And I think it takes like maybe 15 minutes to re-register the address and then you're back up and running. Uh, so once again, we're gonna show you all that as we go, as we travel. Besides update videos on the performance in each location, we'll also be posting videos on things like mounting options for Starlink, more details of the app, dealing with obstructions out in like a wooded area somewhere, etc. So stay tuned for those videos. I'll put those in a playlist for you on our homepage and you can click on those videos and see those videos anytime. Check that playlist out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and we'll be happy to answer those for you as well. So otherwise, we'll see you next time.